Hi friends, uh, this is my another video on uh, page object model where I'll be writing one method called initialize method. So uh, this is this is um, <clears throat> I guess my voice is little low today. So but I'm trying to be a little louder. So yeah, it's a method called initialize. This is the standard form what we are, are doing it. So uh, uh, this is this this is gonna we'll be doing it. So. Um, this is how we will be doing it because I have told you already that this is this this videos are also for the beginners who are just new to Selenium, new to this page object model. So for them to understand, I'll be covering some topics related to that and some topic parallelly I'll be covering to um, our framework where we'll be going to do that. So I guess everything is very relevant if you see all the videos. So if you see, if you come and jump on one thing also you will be able to understand if you see one video also you will be able to understand because uh, there are videos which is related to one you know there are videos which is interrelated with each other but i'll make sh i i'm making in that way so that if people know little bit about selenium or page object model they can easily understand it but yes if you are a beginner then you have to see all those things what is going on to understand how it is happening and uh, you know why we are doing this why this video is for so uh, you know and how it is gonna connect it with other things so for that you need to little, little more effort from your side that you have to start it from the uh, you know all the videos which I have already made which is which I try to explain it as much as uh, I can so this is how we'll be doing it so this is our project where I've already written the method so I'm not gonna write it and show you I'm just gonna explain you this method why this is and how we want to do that so uh yeah so there's like one thing there there's a new thing which has come up in the market which i have no which i'm new to it so this is what it is so th this is a dependency called web driver manager so what happens is we always explicitly path uh we always explicit explicitly pass the a uh, path of a web driver right so like for example chrome web driver will be using so we'll be passing that system dot set property and then we'll be passing that to chrome path driver path in your system so you don't need to do that this thing will do uh, this thing will be doing it for you so okay so this thing will be where uh, whatever you'll be passing either firefox either chrome either i will be having it so we we are dealing with two browser as of now firefox and the chrome so we'll be having this thing so we have just put in this dependency so if you see my generic class i'm just okay here uh, where the... one second okay this is not the one one second this is the one okay if you see this generic class and you can see the, the method uh, here i'm just writing it okay so how i'm gonna write so public static void initialize because you these are the uh, method you can name it as an initialize because right now it, this is only the trend trend which is going on we are initializing the browser so here you can put a comment even initializing the browser that's how we'll be doing it so initialize or we'll be doing a string url and a string browser name is the argument for that method okay so if browser name dot equal ignore case equals to chrome so this is what we'll be adding that line instead of that system dot set property web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup so why we are doing it we'll be having the setup for chrome driver okay this is we'll be we'll be getting it so and here we'll be defining the will be in, in instantiating this thing driver equals to new of chrome driver same thing we'll be doing it for the firefox that browser name dot equal ignore case firefox web driver manager dot firefox driver dot setup so it will download the firefox driver setup and driver equals to new fire on your firefox driver and here i'll be doing driver dot get, get url this these are the cases for the driver that will be having those drivers and then what we'll be doing is we'll be passing the url the driver dot get get url that get url is a sel selenium inbuilt function so that is the reason we'll be using it here okay and then we'll be having some page load timeouts we'll be adding some timeouts here and implicitly wait so these i guess i do have the video on implicit and explicit wait so please um go and check it out if you don't know about it so driver.manage.window.maximize because after opening the browser we need it to get it maximized so this is what we have uh, we have this method called this thing so now uh, i've i've already i guess 
what happens is with me is like I have already created everything. Okay, so I do. I'll be making one video on how I'm gonna do that. Okay, that how I am creating that uh, object and all. So here I have a login test case. Okay, so here I'm writing more right now. So okay, so we we just make this. Because I do have a video, I'm, I'm gonna upload that also. And that is not much important because I've not done much in that. So, yeah. So, only thing is like, I've just created these all things in that video. I don't think so. That is the useful where I'm explaining all those things. You know. So, this is my page object class where I'll be having this page object. So, our application is this application. I'm sorry. This is our application, okay. So I'm just gonna get this back here. This is this is our application which we wanna automate. So I've just written how to uh, find the X path, and this is for the video how to find the X path. For example, I have to find the X path of this. So I'm just clicking this. Okay, this this will not help us out because this is an automated shell. So I'm just gonna use Firefox for this. So I've just download this try xpath extension so you can also download it and add it so we are not able to see this okay so this is try xpath extension which i have down uh, added uh, i have downloaded the extension of it and add it here so i'm just gonna copy the url here this website we are gonna automate so now we'll be seeing so if i have to find the xpath of this we'll be clicking the right click of this then we'll be clicking on inspect element and then you have this arrow key you can go wherever which which element you want to we are doing this because there are many many elements which we can automate so this is how we'll be doing it so if i have to find the x path of this so okay okay i have to find the x path of this this let's say so then i'll be having this and then i'll go to copy i'll do copy x path here and then i can okay this this is you can validate your text path so if you do it you can see this is highlighted there are many ways you can write it okay then we have this one what we can do is uh, we gonna do this search button okay this search button we have done this then we can see this I'm not clicked on the search button or not then you can delete this one but I guess this is not the one I have to do it again okay okay so if you click here it will highlight that thing also okay then you have to do copy X path I guess this is not gonna I'm um, we are not able um, I guess the copy is not correct input okay if you got execute it's not highlighting but probably it is highlighting it uh, because we are getting the result one i have to see that it is highlighting or not we are not able to see it it's highlighting i can see that a bit in yellow okay uh, okay or you can write this even we have this you can put this also so how are we gonna write this i'll just have this okay i'll just have notepad i'll just have this okay so we have okay you can see here okay you can see here this is called input we have okay so it comes under input tag okay so input tag it is uh, you can see the x path here so input say so you it's a tag called input okay then we have this summit 
we have submit button so we'll be writing it in the same way okay that i have written it here in the same way we'll be writing it because this is the relative x bar so right now we'll be adding Anyways, we'll be writing in this way input. Okay, I'll start here. Input at the rate five equals to submit. Okay, then we'll be closing this box. Okay, we're gonna search this. Okay, we're gonna search this in this executor. We're gonna execute this. Okay. execute okay we don't find it okay we are not able to find it out so what we gonna do one second let's see i'll just see okay it gives me one okay but it's not highlighting this or either it is highlighting i'm not able to see it okay I'm not able to see it either if it is highlighting also. Okay, fine. We'll be having this. So we'll have this. Okay. Where it has mentioned the tab index. Okay. Will I, what I have written is. One second. There's an index called 1. Which I am gonna. This is the one. So you can see here, this is like we have this type under input. That's the reason we have done that. Okay. So this is I guess first input tag we have. Here. That's the reason we have put in the one as in. Because there are many input tags. So we need to identify. So probably that's the reason it was not highlighting it. So many things are doing, girl, you never want me I'm to sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. My mom has called me. So I have to pick the call. Sorry. So yes, where we are is this. So I guess um, this is we're gonna do, and uh, I guess this is how we'll be having this. I guess we'll be searching the X path, and we'll be making. We'll have this more. Uh, f we have many elements here, so we'll be learning this how to do that. So it's not a big deal here. So we'll be doing it. Don't worry. So I'm gonna search here. For example, if I search books. So, books in English. Let's see. I know I'm doing it books only. Books. So, I'll search books. Not in English, yeah. Because I'll be passing it books right now. So, books. If I'll see. So, this is how it will come, okay? Then I have to uh, inspect this book and I have to click this book, for example. So then I'll just right click on. There are many ways to write the X path, guys. There are contains, there are many locators which we can use to do that. This is the first input, that's the reason I have passed that. Okay. And this gives the relative path basically. So what happens is when you do it, okay, I'll just scroll it up. Okay, one second. I have to do it in the side side system. So this gives me one second back. Okay. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll just let it expand it. I'm really fed up with this mouse. Okay. Okay, it is highlighting it because it's just based on the path. So whatever comes first, it will click. So we, we don't need, we are not doing it in that basis. Okay, keep whatever comes first, we'll be doing it. So we are not writing the relative X path. Okay. One second. I'll just it for all. So we just see it, how it is. Okay, image class, we don't have it. So...
so there is like alt uh, west land so we can do it in the same way we i'm also trying with you guys so i'm just first i'll be copying this and let's see how we can do that okay so okay this is the one so we have this image we'll be having this image as an input so image as an input for us and then we gonna write alt equals to what was there here yes okay i really don't know about that west land copy just gonna copy this one and just delete all this all three we're just gonna have one i'm sorry for this okay we'll be having this i don't know we we have to see it whether it is working or not so i'm just gonna copy it Well, this is something weird because I've also done it many things but okay it is highlighting the same okay so we have done the correct one okay so okay I'll just remove it once and execute and see execute execute okay then again I'll write it and execute so it is highlighting probably you can see that this this is how you want to write it okay guys so i'm also trying in front of you guys and because this is also new for me so this is how we'll be doing it so we'll be searching books and we're gonna have this x path we'll write this okay so i'm just gonna explain this one how we're gonna do now this is how we'll be writing the x path okay i'll just explain you how we can do that okay for the page object we need to create in constructor guys so we need to create a constructor for the same class so we'll be having this we have the uh, class called amazon login page objects but we have to extend our generic class because we'll be using the drivers web drivers over here so that's the reason we need it the same way because we will be having this web driver driver will be initializing over generic and we we can use it in every page classes or anywhere we want it so that's the reason we'll be having one class called generic class where we'll be defining or initializing everything and we can use it in everywhere where we want so and only need to we need to extend generic generic class okay this is this is one point and the second is for the constructor for the page object because we need to create the constructor so that what happens is it it will okay it will uh, i have to explain the space factory topic a little more so constructor as in we have to do it like when we called it and we have to refer so then driver can come and here only whatever this means current object so here what we are creating is an object so this object it, it has to come to this class and this class has to when we create a reference variable and reference variable of this particular class i'll show you how we gonna do that reference variable of this particular class and we will be calling the element so it will come and call to that element which has been defined in this class only so this is what is mean that i may be not up to the mark but uh, i guess i have uh, explained it in a well possible way but uh, i'll explain you furthermore so but uh, you need to wait for my next video Titan. okay so how are we gonna write this this is how we'll be uh, writing this find by we'll be using and we'll have this x path and this is how we'll be defining it and then we'll be having for this web element we'll uh, we have to have the name for which we can cause uh, so we'll be defining some name where this x path can be called so uh, here the format of writing public web element a web element is first letter should be small and the second letter is, is a capital Birth book so this is how we gonna do that for effort of time being and just i'll just save it so let's come to my test class so this is my test class uh, so where i'll be having uh, this one so this is my test class and i'm ex extending the generic class because there are methods which i'll be using it here so uh, it's like i don't need to use this one okay one second guys one second this 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 one is a class so where i have used okay the same class it is it just have some confusion so 
okay i'm extending the same one and i have made a method called uh, amazon login where we'll be having this login so probably i have not used that login functionality so i'll be using this as in for example I've, we are just doing as in search amazon search okay so here also i'll be changing the class name though i can change it here or not search test change it here or not okay it has remained okay so we have this search test so we'll be having the search search book testing so here we'll not write the test it will be like books okay once it has searched then again we have this amazon front page and basically it should comes on the search page so i'll be having another page called search page for the for time being we have this so we can have uh, for the timing we'll have this so in the next video what i'll gonna do is i'll have the search page uh, page class and the search page page class so we'll be searching different kind of uh, elements over there and we'll have uh, a look on this okay so this is the search functionality where i'll be um, making video on their their home in home page what all functionality will be covering so it's just a random thing what we have done it so i guess that is not saved i guess i've saved it okay checking the other book there are multiple okay then you click right and yes. Okay, one second. The search box is coming. Why this is not coming? Okay, one second. I just need to have this. I just need to close this. Second, this. Close this. No more class. Okay, so here we'll be having this books and then I have written the submit button dot click. Then again, we'll be calling this Amazon. Uh, and page dot. We'll be having this Chetan Bhagat book dot click. So this is how, because I have the duplicate project over there. So it may have reflecting the other things as well. So that's the reason it was not coming earlier. Probably you guys are wondering how, why it is happening. So we'll just gonna run this and see how it is. So I'm not sure, but yeah, let's see. So I'll just, after that, I'll just put a debugger and show you how it's gonna run it. what happened one second probably the uh, url is not correct here i'll just mention the url no no the url is there i guess some connectivity issues let me check it once So it just has clicked that uh, Chetan Bhagat books. So I guess we have this. So we have the result here where all the test cases are passed.
finally you guys don't know how much i struggled so yes so let's bear this guys i do have a problem with this mouse So this is how it is you can see this so we have one test case run which is called amazon login okay i have to change that okay probably i have changed the name of that particular test case so okay this is it so we'll be covering that home page functionality in another video so stay tuned for my next video guys bye bye uh, this is already 25 minutes so i guess you should watch this and see or probably i can continue doing it so we'll go to the home page and see and here it is the home page so that is done so we'll gonna have this home page now so what we can click so i'm just playing around this that's all so i'm not doing much of it so we'll be having this page now so i'm just going and playing around we'll be we'll be doing this that's all in this my videos so what i gonna do is i'll just go to this i'll click on this and i'll just sign in okay so or okay so we'll have this okay so we we will have this when we have um, a read excel method so we'll be passing all this through excel so as of now i'm just gonna back go back and do what we gonna do that okay okay let's order one thing we'll be doing that thing okay so i'll i i don't know without account you can do that or not so i have written books just i'll search it i'll see first i have to see manually okay this has come It'll click this then we'll go and click this okay when we searched book so then not have this then i'm gonna click on let's let's log in and see because it's work, working way more weird so i just gonna click here Okay, it will wanna come and click here. Okay, so then we have this. Okay, so what we gonna do? Let's log in. We'll be coming here and we'll click this, and then we'll be having this. Okay, so this is what we gonna do. That okay, so we'll be coming here. Okay, we'll click this. This it will click, and this it is happening. Okay, so once again, I have to click on F. Okay. So mine is uh, is like I have to come here and click on text element. It'll go here and this advanced spect. So I have gonna spec this entire thing. So again I'll go. I'll go here. I'll go here. Hello sign in. Okay. So this is what gonna span class. We have it and then we can use a text here. Expert, we'll see how it, it will work. I'm just using mouse to span the button. So it is just gonna come and click here. Okay, sorry. So this is how it is so we'll just see how it is why why it is like this so we'll just make our own thing so we'll just take these two this okay and we can come here we'll have these two lines okay let's see we can okay then we'll have contains then we'll write text 
text comma and then test text then we have this this one so we just want and then text same you will be copying it okay from this then we'll be having this this okay this is how it is, okay. And this also will be in the list of me. So we can just go and check. This works. Right now it is clicking. We don't want it in this way. Okay. It is not highlighting. It doesn't have anything. So yes, one second. I just need not to have this at the stoppy. Okay. One second, I need to remove your double quotes. And then it comes under this. So I'm just gonna copy it and see whether this works or no. Still, it is not working. Just see one second. We have this span. Okay, it comes under span itself, but then this text. Mm. There's some mess we are doing. Okay. Oops, we are doing the mistake here. This okay. I guess this should work now. Uh huh. Let's see. We'll be trying it out. It works. Things work. Thing. This is all the first time for me that I'm doing uh, automations. I'm like as new as you guys. So see how it is happening. We were doing those mistakes. So it happens. So one second. I'm getting one more. Okay, I have a just a uh, disconnection of the power guys. So probably it doesn't work right now. I have to, my internet needs to get connected. By that time we'll be having the another page things. What we'll be doing it here. Things doesn't work. So, okay, let's see if I can connect with my mobile. It's still not connecting. I'm sorry for your time. I'll see I can connect with my mobile and then I'll just resume it for the time being and then connect. Okay fine it is connecting now then we'll be seeing it. Okay so we have to identify this text box here. It's an input field. So let's see. If we get it in IDs form then it is fine. But if we get uh, the structure like the you know the relative path at the branch uh, from every branch it is counting so is that will not be uh, useful for us so is id is quite fine for us okay so we have two text to uh, okay this is our earlier result of the console so we'll be having okay we'll be closing this i'll be closing this just gonna minimize it and see so this is our desk so we'll be i will be going and logging it so I'm just gonna remove this one because this under this comes under search page for us. I'm just formatting this particular code now. I'll just do two lines. That's all. Okay. Then we'll, I'll just copy this fine by. This is how we're gonna write it in uh, in your office, guys. This is how you have to do it. Okay. I don't know what happens. Let it jump here. Okay. So 
if you need any if you need me to do it in a different ways you can shoot your comment below we'll try that way also because this is also new for me and we're gonna practice all those things in the real time it's not like i've done it earlier and do it in front of you guys so we can't if i'll be doing it i think i'll be cheating you guys i'm not saying about any other person or any other thing so you just i'll i as i said i've made it for the beginners so and and as well as for the learners who are learning and who are the expert even so these are for everyone where we can see the real time problems what we face and how we gonna fix those so that's the this uh the way i forgot that forgot that text thing right so i'm just gonna define it and see it how this 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 is the real time things which can be happen so my um as you see my interview also is based on real time experience real time experience with people has gone there and did it even i have gone to many interviews and the, my interviews experience i have shared with you guys so that's the thing okay so this is like what it is username we will be writing it username and that's fine okay so then what you gonna pass so i really don't remember my own id so i'll be creating one id i'll right now we'll be just passing it and just gonna click on continue this is this is gonna end for this video now because i really don't remember my id and not in my personal mail id so i don't want to share that okay this is fine then we have this continue button sorry okay it still will be getting this for id so it's fine if we are not getting those uh, things so till that time it is fine we are getting ideas in info so that's it so it will be fine so this is what our in this video this is basically for the login functionality but i have covered multiple things in that so this video is really useful for you guys i guess this one hour i have not even wasted a single minute uh, i am not lying i may waste it but yeah because of some or other things but i am trying to save your time as much as possible okay for me so that's how it is so we, it's a continue button okay so button will be b is the second word so b will be capital okay this is all so this is going to be have done it so username and this okay so one more thing which i have learned here uh, so that it if you want to see where this driver comes you can just click open declaration or you can just click uh, uh, function plus f3 function plus f3 one second it isn't selected as a problem with this okay i'll just click on open declaration okay one second there's some problem there's some error to show because that i guess it is not loading anyway so it is if you click on this select this okay i don't know why it is not working you can exactly see it actually okay we'll explain this topic later okay let it be so okay we have this you can format your code click on control shift and f that is already formatted for me so i have written the comment in the so right now we'll be having this we'll comment all this so what we going to do is uh, you can come you can add blog toggle comment you can do this here okay so this is how it is so we'll be using sign in things okay so amz control space it will come automatically then you can click dot it will give you the all those options then we have to go and click on do we we didn't click create that thing guys we didn't create one more page object which we need to create that is that contain text one we have created that contains text wala right so one guy has told me don't laugh in between i will laugh yeah just like one two uh uh 
want to uh, like it's in more than half an hour i cannot be like that right so it's like if you don't like my laugh please uh, forward uh, the video but i cannot be like i'm not your teacher or anything that i have to be serious over here so i'm just explaining and i'm it's fine i can la laugh right i have a uh, i should have the freedom to do whatever i want to do in fact uh, even if i'm making any videos or anything so it's my channel my blog whatever i have to do i'll do it so you know you shouldn't comment in that rude way so that's the thing okay anyways now we have done that okay so what was this sign sign on button sign um will be writing sign on that's all okay one second so we need to maintain the standards guys okay so we have to have this okay again i'm gonna do that then sign on dot click then it is going to another page login page and this i don't think that we should have that for the one functionality but yeah you can have it for example guys we have an application where you have the login functionality i'll request you to create when where you have only one thing on that blog in, in your office application like for me uh, i have only one box right where i'll be entering my id and i can log in into the system so for that i'll, I'll really not needing a one page so i can uh, segregate it to any other login page where i'll be having multiple logins so there i'll be uh, segregating it uh, i'll be adding it i'll not segregate it okay so if you have that login that you have to put username password and the many functionality like forget password and many things so right so i'll uh, i'll suggest you to have one login page and then you shouldn't have to uh, have uh, you know combine it with different page so you do have that login page so here we have only one page and then we'll be adding it we'll be changing it so uh, right now we are doing it in that, this way so that's how we are going it okay so I'm just uh, there are we, we right now we are doing some random test random testing because we we are not still uh, we are still not that kick is start of our framework we are just learning something and doing something random test testing so that for the beginner also it is helpful at least they can start doing something so for this probably from from my next video I'll be having everything in pace like everything is like accordingly what we are doing it so this is for them also so that they can have a little bit of idea what we are gonna do it in the uh in this sessions so for that okay then we're gonna have this username dot send keys you can click all always click the first uh letter of the thing what we are searching for send keys i'll just write a test for example test so i don't have ideas of now so i'll be creating one dummy id then we'll be having all those stuff so control space you will have this so then continue button dot click so this is how it is okay so just log into the system click on sign on let's see how it is control s i'm just gonna run this okay i guess the loading time is more so probably okay so i'll just put here because that was taking a little time thread that see okay let's see
so this i guess our test case passed so i have so you can see so because i have a internet issues that's the reason i have to put thread or sleep so i guess this is it for the today's video and if you if you really this is only for the beginners so we have done some random things so before that the information was really good where i have uh, told you the uh, how we can add that web uh, web driver manager what it is i just forgot what was that web driver manager true then we ha we have written that initialize method which is the standard from the form of the method whereas i have, I have told you to how to write the different kind of uh, small small method for the beginner so that they can see it how we're gonna write it then i have told you how to create a page object how to write the x path of some different elements because there are multiple elements where we need to see it how we're gonna write the uh, x path for those so yes uh, the x path of some elements and we have seen like how we're gonna search do some element and how we gonna click those elements and then we just do some random testing on login functionality so this is how we have done it so once i will complete that page factory topic so yes i have uh, done with the video page factory probably in the next coming days i will be having that page factory in the constructor topic altogether so once that is done we'll be having that uh, complete page that how we will be having the complete plan that how we gonna go for our framework and everything like that so this is how it is and please like and share my videos you guys are not sharing with the with your friends so i request you to share with your friends so that that will help to them because um this is very new we are very in the new thing so that uh, they can also put their comments so that I can see and I can cover those things and probably I may do some mistakes also because this is also new for me Amazon so it's just that I'm doing it with you guys and sharing my experience so you can also put provide your inputs to me and really work on it and come up with the video so uh, until uh, there are many videos uh, okay there are many videos which are uh, you need to see so I'll be putting the link in the comment section below or in the description box so please go and refer those uh, those videos as well so that you can link the, uh, the this video with other videos so this is for the beginners who are new to my channel so for them so i guess and i try to be a little louder but uh, today i'm not well so i guess please cooperate me in this video only so from next time i'll try to be a little louder okay thank you please like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notified whenever i'll upload the video thank you